Now joining us for Met Report Sports is Lennox Williams. Lennox, I heard baseball season is starting up. Yes, but first we're going to go to basketball. The women's basketball team ended the weekend on a three-game winning streak. It was a defensive game. Kyrie DeGama was the only player for Metro in double figures with 10 points. The Roadrunners outlasted the Ore Diggers 46 to 44. The following night, Metro went to Lakewood to take on Colorado Christian University Cougars to increase their winning streak to five games. The Roadrunners is looking to get, get past 500 for their overall record, while the Cougars was looking to stay ahead of Metro in our Mac play. Both teams came out making baskets. The Roadrunners moved the ball from side to side and got open shots. The Garma hit one from behind the arc. Cassie Lambert followed up with one of her home to keep the score 37 all. The half. CCU came out stinging in the second half. Katie Luton and Christine Whitelove kept the Cougars close to Metro. But the Garma was on a roll with a career high 22 points. Senior center Amy Nelson got in some action too. The defensive pressure was superb, which helped propel, propel the Roadrunners to an 81 to 68 win over the Cougars. We are tied with a couple teams in the RMAC right now, so the more wins we get over these really good teams, the higher it puts us up on, this, on the ratings and everything. So if we can get big wins like this, especially on the road, it really helps us in the long run. With this victory, Metro moved to 11 and 10 in overall record and 10 and 7 in the RMAC, which pushed the Roadrunners to tie for fifth place. Tomorrow, Metro State hosts Regis University at 5 p.m. right here at Area Event Center. Metro State men basketball team was coming off a 2-0 weekend and was looking to face Colorado School of Mine at their place. Let's see what happened. On Friday, the men's basketball team took their one-loss record up to Golan to take on the number 11 rank Colorado School of Mine. Mine started out electric, big dunks, three-pointers, alley oops. Their fans were smelling a victory. Roadrunners kept it close and was only down by three, 29 to 26 at the half. The Ore Diggers came out in the second half, throwing everything at Metro, resulting in a 10-point lead for Colorado School of Mine. Nick K got a wide open shot, one bounce, two bounce, three point is good. Brandon Jefferson hit the deciding shot to take the lead and the game clinching steal, Metro win 54, 57 to 54. Well, you know, you win games by getting stops. We got seven stops in a row at one point, about halfway through. And, uh, you know, we were down 10 with 14, 33 left or something like that. We just continued to practice getting stops because all we needed to do was make one or two buckets in a row just to kind of loosen things up. Because, again, you're going to have tough nights offensively. And the other thing is we were finishing possessions and getting defensive rebounds. The next night, the Roadrunners took on CCU Krugers and was up by 20 points at halftime. The Krugers came storming back and take the lead with less than three minutes left. With the help from Rahul Delgado, the Roadrunners held on for the victory 66 to 61. Next up for the Roadrunners is a meeting with Regis at the Arreary Event Center. Do remember, it's homecoming. Game start at 7 p.m. Come help cheer the Roadrunners as they make a pace push towards the postseason. As the, weather is, as the weather is starting to change, that would only mean one thing. Baseball season is starting up. As Coach Oates is coming off, as Coach Oates is coming into his third season, he's looking to improve from last year's record. Miles Potter caught up with Coach Oates to talk about this upcoming season. Last year, Coach Jared Otis helped improve this road on his team to 20 and 27 and making it to the RMAC tournament for the first time in two years. Now in his third season, the stakes are much higher. It's the key. Team, team chemistry is the key to everything, and, and we've got a really good chemistry on our program, and, and that's really going to help us you know, as you go through the ups and downs of the season. This team has a very talented pitching staff coming back. As first team, all RMAC pitcher Nick Hammett looks to be the workhorse on the staff. We expect big things out of them. You know, they've, they've all been in the fire. Um, they've, they're experienced and we're going to be able to get good long innings, outings out of those guys and we're really going to be able to 
kind of grow with them. Another strong part of this team is going to be their upperclassmen leadership. Coach Otis brought a lot of these guys in three years ago, and they are finally looking to gel. We have looked at it from our freshman year all the way to now, and we've always said just wait until we all have this much experience. Wait until we all come together as a team because you know, what do we have? Seven guys that have started three years now that it's going to be really big for us and hopefully that experience helps us and takes on you know, some of the powerhouses that have been in the past. The baseball team is projected to finish fourth in the RMAC this season, but this team has their sights much higher. Uh, we just kind of continue doing what we need to do and continue to progress the way we need to progress. We don't put much stock in it. it you know, it's just, it is what it is. It's a voting process. So, so uh, last few years are record wise, but you know, we're looking to come out this year and really bring it all together. We have a good squad, great pitching staff, great hitters, great defense. So we're, gonna, we're, we're really going to surprise the RMAC this year. For the Met Report, I'm Miles Potter. After their first five game was canceled due to bad weather, they finally get to go you know, to a warm state to play some ball. They will play St. Mary University in San Antonio this afternoon. Oh, well, that's too bad those first five games were canceled. It was very, very cold I mean, those time in Colorado, so we'll see if they'll play by, by May or April. <laughs> Definitely.